New accusations deny that the Portland Catholic Diocese failed to protect young girls from sexual abuse at a local church. Good evening, I'm Greg Lagerquist. And I'm Marissa Bodner. Back in 2005, 15 years after his death, the Catholic Church publicly identified Father Lawrence Sabatino as one of nine priests who sexually abused children. And as CBS 13's Brad Rogers explains, after more than 50 years, one of his alleged victims is now coming forward. The church was the center of our family. Anne-Marie Burke grew up in a Catholic family in Portland and attended church here at St. Peter's on Federal Street. This is her confirmation photo. I, I see a damaged child. Now Ann Allen, she says at the age of seven, she joined a girls' youth program led by Father Lawrence Sabatino. She says he played games with the girls like hide and seek as a way to get girls alone and sexually abuse them. Allen says she was one of his victims. I think that's part of the agony of it, mm -hmm. is that you put your faith in, in a priest who is supposed to be safe. And he wasn't. And as a seven-year-old child, uh, that was devastating to me. Today, she filed suit against the Bishop of Portland, claiming the diocese concealed an earlier sexual abuse case by Sabatino and Lewiston while he pretended to be the big bad wolf. He wasn't just the big bad wolf in a game. He was the wolf who had the keys to the hen house. The suit claims the diocese knew what Sabatino had done, took no steps to protect girls in his care, and failed to warn parishioners as they transferred him from church to church in Maine. And all of those things would have prevented the abuse of hundreds, if not thousands. The Bishop of Portland warned Sabatino in writing to abandon all familiarity under the name of playing games with girls of all ages, young and mature, a warning they say the late Father Sabatino ignored. And he was told by the bishop himself that he was not to have any more contact with that girl and he was no longer allowed to play games with little girls. Her attorneys say Allen is the first female abuse victim in Maine to come forward after a new state law lifted the statute of limitations for all cases of childhood sexual abuse. I want the church to be the safe place that it should have been for me. And she wants other abuse victims to know it's never too late to tell. I found my voice and it will help me to heal. I'm not sure that I will ever forgive the violent assault that I suffered as a seven-year-old child, but I will be able to live with it. We did reach out to the Portland Diocese for comment, but did not hear back. In Portland, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.